Adjectives are tricky. Many Norwegian learners struggle with them. This is why I've decided to make three videos to help you understand exactly how Norwegian adjectives work in every possible situation. In this video, we'll have a look at a very basic idea about when and how you should inflect or change a form of a Norwegian adjective. Let us first look at the four basic noun conjugations. You remember that nouns conjugate as indefinite singular, definite singular, indefinite plural, and definite plural. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, then I would recommend you to first watch my videos about noun conjugations at Multilingual Facebook page. But I hope you do remember this. En parapli, singular indefinite of an umbrella. Paraplien, the umbrella, singular definite. Paraplier, umbrellas, plural indefinite. And parapliene, the umbrellas, plural definite. Yeah, but now if I want to say a nice umbrella in Norwegian, well, I will have to put an adjective between this indefinite article, en, and the noun itself. So that will be en fin parapli, a nice umbrella. En fin parapli. Fin is just the basic form of the adjective which you will find in the dictionary. I have not changed it in any way. So, when you describe a masculine singular noun in indefinite form, you do not change the form of the adjective. En fin parapli, just as it is. And if you want to describe a feminine noun in singular indefinite form, then again, we just use the same dictionary form of the adjective. I fin jacke, a nice jacket. So, we use the basic form of an adjective to describe both masculine and feminine singular indefinite nouns. But if we describe a neutral noun like et pelte, we'll have to remember to put a little ending to the adjective form. Et fint belte. Let's move on and look at definite forms. Paraplien, jakka, belte. The umbrella, the jacket, the belt. If I want to describe them with an adjective, the adjective must as well change into definite form. And I must also remember the article this extra article which comes together with the adjective. The adjective will take an ending ea for all the three genders, and it will go with the article den for masculine and feminine. Den fine paraplien. Den fine jacka. But for the neutral, it will go with the article de. De fine belte. When I want to say nice umbrellas or nice jackets, I'll simply say fine paraplier, fine jacker. Here, no article is needed. Just remember to put an ending ea for the adjective and ar for the nouns. The last standard form is definite plural. Here, the adjective will take the article di and ending ea, and the noun will take the ending ene. Di fine parapliene, di fine beltene. In plural, all the genders behave the same. Let's take another example. Let's say that all these things are expensive. Well, the adjective dyr will behave in just the same way. En dyr parapli, an expensive umbrella. Den dyre paraplien, the expensive umbrella. Dyre paraplier, expensive umbrellas. Di dyre parapliene, the expensive umbrellas. And then, et dyrt belte, de dyre belte, dyre belter, di dyre beltene. And just one more adjective. Green. En grön paraply, den grönne paraplyen, grönne paraplyer, de grönne paraplyene. And just pay attention for the neutral. If you have an adjective that ends on a double consonant, you'll have to replace one of the consonants with t or singular indefinite. Et grönt belte. But the rest of the forms will behave just the same. De grönne belte, grönne belter, de grönne beltene. I hope this is starting to feel easy for you. We're almost done. I just want to show you two more possible noun-adjective combinations, which I haven't covered yet. The first situation is when you have an adjective and a noun separated by a verb. Like, for example, the car is expensive, or the picture was nice. In this case, the adjective will always be indefinite, even though the noun might be definite. Bilen er dyr. Bilde var fint. Jakka var for stor. 
For the plural forms, the rule is still the same, but you'll have to remember to use the plural form of the adjective. Bilene er dyre. The cars are expensive. Bildene var fine. The pictures were nice. Jakkene var for store. The jackets were too big. And the last combination that we are going to look at is the possessive construction. It might start with a possessive pronoun like mine, his or yours, or it can start with a noun in genitive form like Olav's jacke, Olav's jacket, the jacket that belongs to Olav. Here the rule is, after possessive words we use the indefinite form of a noun but definite form of an adjective. Hennes bil per car. Bil is indefinite. Hennes fine bil. Her nice car. Fine is definite. Hennes fine biler. Biler indefinite. Fine definite. Ditt bilde. Your picture. Bilde is indefinite. Ditt fine bilde. Your nice picture. Dine fine bilder. Your nice pictures. And then, Olav's jacke. Olav's jacket. Olav's store jacke. Olav's big jacket. Olav's store jacker. Olav's big jackets. I can imagine that this has been a lot of grammar to take in in just a few minutes. So I do recommend that you spend some time practicing these rules. In the next video, we'll look at more examples and discover six types of adjectives which endings behave differently from one another. Thanks for watching. Give our Facebook page a like if you've learned something from this video. And I hope to see you again really soon.